Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. As always, we are in a new city and this city is very well known in Germany and the northern part of Bavaria. So today we are in Bamberg. The old town of Bamberg is listed in UNESCO's World Heritage Site list. This town is really very beautiful. This morning we came here by train and we took a bus towards the old town. But if you wish, you can also take a walk towards the old town. The city is really beautiful and you can enjoy walking through it. There are so many things to do and explore in the old town of Bamberg. And we are going to do that right now. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon. And without a further ado, now we are going to explore the places in Old Town of Bamberg. This is the Old Town Hall of Bamberg, which has an amazing history. The Bishop of Bamberg during olden days did not allow the people to build town hall on his land and people figured out a way to create a small island and build this structure on it. Just in front of the old town hall, there is this bridge from where you will get the beautiful view of the old town hall. And now we are going to that bridge to see the different view of that rat house. standing on that bridge from where we got really beautiful view of this rat house and we just came out from the rat house and we saw the Ludwig's porcelain collection. Normally the cost to enter into that museum is 6 euros but we entered into that museum for free not because it was sponsored video or something but the entry to that museum is free on first Sunday of every month so if you are here on first Sunday of the month then Definitely you can go inside for free, you don't have to pay anything and do check out their museum because it was really amazing from inside. There were so many porcelain things like even tabletop, so many different show pieces, even a clock. So I think it was really a nice collection there and they also had this big dining table area and the view from the window of that museum was really stunning because I could see the river flowing through and the old town houses. So. It was really beautiful. From the same bridge, I can also get the really nice view of both sides of this town and the view is really stunning. There are also some beautiful timbered houses over there. I think they are of the fishermen's and this town is also known as the Little Venice because there are also some gondola rides over here. So we are also going to go to that side of the Bamberg and show you how that place is. So guys, keep watching this video. Right now I am standing at Domplatz and this place is situated on top of the one of the seven hills of Bamberg and Domplatz has so many monumental buildings. So the first one you see behind me is the Stadt Bibliothek and this is called as library. So there are manuscripts from thousand years ago and next to the Stadt Bibliothek there is a Neue Residence which is the new residence and this place used to be the home for Prince Bishop and there is also a gate beneath that residence. From there you can also go to the Rosen Garden where we will also go and next to the Neue residence there is a museum of history where you get to learn all the history about Bamberg and the very famous building is the Cathedral of Bamberg. So this church has four towers and two of them have the Roman architecture and two of them has the Gothic architecture. So we will be going inside this church and the next to this church there is one more museum. In that museum they have shown the artwork and the treasury from the cathedral and there is also one famous uh, artwork which is the imperial star clock. So this clock was given as a gift to the emperor Henry II. So the first thing we are going to do at Domplatz is visit this cathedral. We just 
came out from the cathedral of Bamberg and the church was really big and the entry to that church was free and it is usually free so you don't have to worry about it and after that we went to the museum of history which is right behind me and usually the entry to this museum is 7 euros but again today we got lucky and we got this entry for free and initially we thought that you know this museum might be small because it looked small to us in the beginning and when we went inside the museum is actually very big it has two floors and there are so many things inside the museum so many artworks works from medieval time and there are so many collection of boats which were used by the people of Bamberg because there is a river here so people from here must have used boats for their everyday activities and one more thing is that most of the information about the articles in this museum is in German and the staff over here they are really nice so from our expressions they understood that we don't understand so much of German so they provided us a paper which was in English so we could read all the information in English about those articles so I think that was really nice of them and we really like this museum from inside and especially for us the entry was free today and we got lucky in that actually and the environment over here is also really nice there are half timbered houses all over the town and yeah so this dome platz has really so many things to offer and from here we are going to go to the Neu residence and and from there we will be heading towards the Rosen garden to get the really nice view of the city from above now i am sitting in this garden which is called Rosen garden and this garden offers more than 4000 roses of 48 different varieties it was built in year 1757 for prince bishop who used to live in the Neu residence the building you can see just behind me and this garden offers very beautiful view of the rooftop of the houses in Bamberg. From here I can also see a monument called Michaelsburg Abbey and this is a building built in 11th century and right now it is under maintenance that's why we are not going to go there and for now I will be sitting here and enjoying the view of this garden along with the rooftop view of the houses of Bamberg. There is a narrow street just down the road from the Dome Platz and from this street I can have the really beautiful view of this half timbered houses and this place particularly is known as the Little Venice because if you can see there is a river behind me and also these beautiful houses just next to the river and those houses belongs to the fishermen and there are actually some gondola rides over here so you can also opt for these rides and those houses with the river view looks really beautiful from here so if you are in Bamberg then maybe you can consider visiting this place because it's really peaceful here there are not so many people around to be honest so I think we really love this place and if we get some time now we will also try to visit the other side of the river to get the different view of these houses and I can already see that there is a big ferry which will pass from here so I think there are also some ferry tours here so if you are interested in that then you can opt for either gondola tours or these ferry tours One thing I would definitely like to recommend is walking into the old town of Bamberg because the streets are cobblestone streets and there are so many beautiful houses, so many beautiful restaurants and cafes in the old town and because of walking we are so hungry so we are in one Italian restaurant and we have ordered pizza and pasta and for your information there is a very famous beer which is a smoked beer that's very famous in Bamberg so if you want to try that you can also try it for us there was also option to sit outside of this restaurant and the weather is really beautiful to be honest but if you can see we are already so much tanned so we just opted to sit inside and we are now going to enjoy our lunch which is a green market square and right behind me is the Maximilian Brunnen and the Rathaus you can see behind me is the prominent building at this square 
rat house means the city hall and this is the new city hall so we have also seen the old city hall which was like a half timbered house and i think that was our favorite so usually this place is very crowded but because today is a sunday and that's the reason there are almost no people over here and all the shops are also closed so there are so many shops here like douglas you know new york h&m so you can also do shopping here and there are usually some stalls here and the restaurants are also open there is no crowd at all and i think we are having this place to ourselves while walking towards train station from grunmarkt we came across this beautiful bridge and this bridge looks quite modern and it has many locks hanging on it so this is end of our today's video hope you enjoyed watching bamberg with us and if you did then do consider subscribing to our youtube channel and you can also follow us on instagram as well do let us know in the comment section below if you like this video and also let us know which city would you like to see next thank you so much for watching and supporting us we will see you in the next video until then take care travel safe and bye bye